is Mahoney Asset Management CEO Ken Mahoney. Also joining the conversation this morning is Fox Business's Dagan McDowell, National Taxpayers Union Senior Fellow Matty Duppler, and the Wall Street Journal Senior Writer John Hilsenrath. Great to see everybody this morning. Happy Friday to Happy you. Friday. Ken, let's kick it off good with morning. you here. Are you expecting a good year in 2021? And what about that, what the president says is a uh, transitional quarter in the third quarter, but he is expecting growth in the third and fourth quarters. How do you see it? I hope so. I, I still don't think it's the haves and have-nots. I mean, the haves already have been technology. The stay-at-home economy that we're seeing right now is greatly benefiting companies like Netflix and Amazon, and I think that will continue for some time. I think there will be some people who are early adapters and are going to get out there right away, and there's going to be others because of their health or because of their age really going to sit back and kind of wait for science to kind of prove itself before they get out there and get more aggressive. So I think we're still going to have the haves and have-nots in the marketplace for some time. But again, I do like the president's optimism. You want, you want your leader to be optimistic about the future, and that helps pave the way for others like us to kind of follow his lead. John Holzenrath. Uh, I want to ask Ken a quick question about um, this talk about bringing supply chains back to the U.S. I mean, certainly what's happened over the last few months has raised all kinds of questions about our trade relationship with China. What are the consequences for all the American companies that have invested so much infrastructure in China if there's a big, you know, buy America, bring manufacturing back to the U.S. push? And how does that change the stock market outlook, if at all? Look, I think a generation from now, they're going to thank us for looking at this. I mean, look, we're in this pandemic. We're going through a horror show. I hope to think a generation or two from now, look back and say, wow, that was a turning point to start bringing back our central manufacturing here to the United States. I mean, yesterday, Taiwan Semiconductor opening up a plant in Arizona. Again, I'm very optimistic about this. I really like that going on. And, and again, to your point, to shut down, maybe there have to be some incentives or some ways to be able to shut some of these places down overseas, but we can't be reliant on this. I mean, the president said to Maria just yesterday, you know, we get something from Turkey, 20 percent, and you get 13 percent from China. You're trying to put all these things together around the world. And if one country falls out, you you lost your supply chain. It doesn't make any sense. So I think the president's yes. right. I think he's putting us in the right direction. And in that interview hit it right on saying, no, we got to bring this back, essential manufacturing to this country. You know, whatever it costs, we got to do it. Matt, yeah. Well, I mean, when I spoke with the president this week, he did suggest that maybe there were some kind of tax incentives that he is planning to get companies to uh, want to come back, some kind of incentivizing move that, that get, get companies to say, OK, let me start the process of unraveling out of China and, and, and go elsewhere. Is there an investment play here, Ken? How are you investing in, in the face of all of this? Healthcare was among the best performing sectors this week. We know technology has also been near highs as well. Would you buy into this, or is there another way to uh, invest around all of this? Yeah, so first of all, we kind of like to keep our time frame short. We like hitting singles here. We go with the leaders, which is technology, healthcare, biotechnology, and we stay away from the laggards. So many investors want to try to catch this U-turn in airlines and hotel chains and oil and retailers and all these names. I think it's going to take some time. While the market's done a V-shaped recovery, I think we do more of like a W. We go down, which we've done already, and chop around a little bit. And hopefully the president's right the second half of this year, or early next year, we get the, the continuation of that W. Uh, so, again, the, I think the best way to play is still stay with the technology, stay with the leadership. I know it's a crowded trade. I know, you know, we've heard this over and over again and the valuation and so forth. But technology led us before the virus and certainly on the way out of it with more demand because of a stay-home economy. I still think technology is still the way to go. So that's QQQ. That's XLK, you know, kind of buying baskets. You like individual names. Microsoft sticks out as our favorite name. Just the way they run it, again, between gaming, between the cloud, you know, Microsoft's kind of right there with the stay-at-home economy for now. Yeah, gaming has to be uh, gaining in this, in this environment, that's oh, for sure. God. Ken, it's good to see you this morning. Thank you so much. Have a great right. weekend, my friend. We will see you, you soon. Too. We're just getting started.